Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Targeted Loot today for October 8th, the series that shows you the Targeted Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing the subscribe, like, and share buttons below. Also in the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan, and links to support my channel like becoming a member, and a lot more. Anyway, let's get started with the Dark Zones first, and the highlights from the vendors, then DC. Finally, New York City Target Loot highlights last. So, over here in DZ West, we got a Raw the Holdings as Targeted Loot. There's no DZ exclusive that I can think of, but there is the Rock and Roll Shotgun that you can buy over here with Perfectly Extra, and I definitely recommend purchasing that. That's 152 DZ resources. Now, in DZ South, we do have gloves as targeted loot, and in the vendor, we got the rail splitter with perfectly accurate, but it would also really be worth it to farm the death grips. So the death grips are these. They're 511 tactical death grips, and they come with 10% armor on kill. Now they go good with a Hunter's Fury set. So I would kind of recommend farming for those today, if you have the time or whatever. They just got buffed from 5% to 10% armor on kill. So definitely pick those up if you can. And then we got Wyvern Wear and DZE. So if you want to check it out for Claws Out Holster, that's 500% melee damage and 10% pistol damage baked right into it. So definitely check that out as well. But my main highlight definitely for today would be to grab the Death Grips. Now let's go check out what we got on the North Side Targeted Loot. All right, Agents, Northside Target Alu highlights. So starting off with Camp White Oak, we got Walker Harrison Co. So I you could farm that for the Chain Killer, perfect Headhunter chest piece. Otherwise, I don't think you can get the Matador unless it's from Target Alu rewards. Skill attachments is nothing really worth farming for. And then Gila Guard, you could farm for. But like I always say, I I've never really Target Alu farmed for Gila Guard. It's usually for shield builds. And then we got Sokolov at Manning National Zoo. Definitely, definitely farm this if you run an SMG build and you need a better chest or backpack or whatever piece. Now, because I know it used to be really hard to get chest and backpack pieces that were Sokolov that were all reds. And now I think it's a little bit easier with that rainbow loot fix. So if you want, I'll show you a build in the top right right now that utilizes Sokolov Concern. And it's definitely worth it to run with any SMG build. And then lastly, we got 5.11 at the summit. Now, remember what they said on the state of the game yesterday. So probably, I believe in October 20th to the 30th area, somewhere the first probably week of the October 20th, they're going to release title update 11.1. .1. So target loot here will be something you can pick and choose yourself. This will no longer be rotated like this. They're changing summit by a lot. But for today, it's 5.11. And I don't recommend farming it today at all. Let's go check out the west side target of loot. All right, agents, we're over here on the west side target of loot highlights. First off, we got gear sets at West End. So you can get anything but System Corruption, which is a DZ exclusive. And then, of course, Foundry Bulwark and Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces. Those are still exclusive to the Iron Horse raid. You got holsters at Potomac Event Center if you're looking for the Imperial Dynasty holster or you're looking for the Forge holster, which gives you a whole extra skill tier for your health of the shield health, then definitely grab that. We do got masks at Downtown West if you're looking for Coyote's mask, the Vile mask, or the Punch Drunk mask with 20% extra headshot damage baked into it. Goes great with perfect headhunter builds and Dodge City holster. And knee pads at Bank HQ, Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, Fox's Prayer with 8% damage targets out of cover, and Sawyer's knee pads, which gives you 30% extra weapon damage for sitting still. This has got Hana Yu at the White House if you're looking for Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. And then rifles at DCD, you can get a good classic M1A. Best damage talents on that is Boomerang, Ranger, and Rifleman. Or you can get a Baker's Dozen or even the Surge. But the Harmony, unfortunately, is a DZ exclusive. You can also get the Diamondback and Merciless if you are missing those. Chess pieces at Constitutional Hall, you can get the Tardigrade chess piece. And you can get the Ridgeway if you already have it, but you gotta do the exotic quest line first before it becomes targeted loot pool. Bellstone at Lincoln Memorial, this is a great day for it to be here because 
you you can definitely get the everyday carrier with like uh, perfect efficient on it that's a chest piece that's you can farm for at bellstone armory and it's a new brand that just came out with you know title update 11 so if you need to grab some today would be a great day lincoln memorial is a fast mission to run but i'm still not getting any screenshots of the liquid engineer with perfect bloodsucker backpack dropping from an npc but it can definitely drop probably from the target elute rewards so you could run this and if you do get a liquid engineer to drop please comment below and let me know thank you you got overlord at west potomac if you want those foxes pair of knee pads i would farm that instead of knee pads if you're just looking for those and then shotguns at title basin you can get the mop with that 10 percent armor on kill and the sweet dreams exotic shotgun all right that's pretty much it for the west side let's go check out the east side target elute highlights all right, agents, east side target loot highlights. We got submachine guns at DUA. You can farm anything but the Dark Winter and the apartment. Those are DZ exclusives. You can get the Chatterbox if you already have gotten it before. If you don't, I'll put the video in the top right right now on how to get it. You can get the Lady Death, which you can farm SMG target loot for. It's no longer just NYC. Or you can get a good vector variant, MPX. Safety Distance or Swap Chain are the two named SMGs you can get in the light zone. Double target loot for holsters. We got Petrov at Grand Washington if you want to grab the contractor's gloves with 8% damage to armor on them. Gear system mods at Federal Triangle if you're looking for those 12% crit damage or 6% crit chance mods. Doubles for mass over here. Got gloves in American History if you need the BTSU gloves. And then Grupo Sombro at East Mall. You got four control points to farm here. And then one piece is for DPS builds, two pieces is for explosive skill damage builds. Alp Summit at Air and Space. If you want some good healer builds, I recommend getting a chest piece with Empathetic Resolve, or you can get the Percussive Maintenance Backpack with perfect tech support, but I think that belongs on either Wyvernware or Hana Yu. Then we got Providence Defense at Capitol Building. So yesterday it was Summit where you could farm it on Legendary. You can farm it on Legendary at Capitol Building today and try to get some God Rolls of Providence Defense or the Sacrifice of Perfect Glass Cannon if that's something that you like running. Anyway, let's go check out New York City Target Alu highlights and I'll let you guys go. All right, agents, we're over here at New York City Target Alu highlights. So first up, we do got Douglas and Harding. So if you want that punch drunk mass with 20% headshot damage into it, I would definitely farm Douglas and Harding, not mass. Got doubles for shotguns at Liberty Island. We do have Fenris at Wall Street if you need those. And assault rifles at Pathway Park. You can get the exotic chameleon, the mechanical animal of future perfection the named Burnout and Maniac, and then you can get a top tier AR like the FAMAS, Military AKM, Carbine 7, Police M4, or G36. Got Badger Tough at the Tombs if you need that perfectly unbreakable 0Fs chest piece, and doubles for Sokolov at Civic Center, and Light Machine Guns at Stranded Tanker if you need the Exotic Pestilence or Bullet King, or a named LMG like the Carnage or the Slepner, which you can cr uh, craft at the White House. Good Times, the Perfect Fast Hands, or the New Reliable. Quiet Roar, there's a bunch of named LMGs, so if you need one of them, hit up Stranded Taker today. All right, agents, well, that was the target of loot for today, October 9th. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content. If you would also like to become a member, you can click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator. Or you can grab some Shadow Gaming merchandise that I just put out a few days ago. Come to Patreon on Patreon. Or subscribe star if you like alt tech. Or just if you're watching till the end of this video, thank you so much for that much support. I appreciate it. Take care, agents, and be sure to stay tuned for more daily dedicated Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care, agents.